Right, bit forward. Forward. Thank you. Put it AFB RFB. on. RFB. Actually, no, we won't RFB. put AFB on. Um, put lights on correctly. Thank you. Turn that off. Put those on there. Instrument lights on. We are good. What are we hauling? Hey, we've got Zackens. Don't tell me this is what I did last time. That's fine, you don't need to. If you press and hold the left stick, you can get that screen up. And then if you go external cameras and go to free camera, you can then fly around. You'll need to press the button at the top, which I think is triangle. Yeah, the triangle button, this one, um, to unlock the camera. And then you can fly around. Uh, and then you just fly up to the coupling you want to uncouple. And when you get up close enough to it, it will actually let you uncouple, for even from this camera. I hate it when my, I get my keys in the wrong place. So hang on. Got a fail going on here. In fact, I've got my Xbox controller here, I can... So if you press and hold the left... So much tangledness! Press and hold the left... No, right button, sorry. Press and hold the right stick. Go external cameras, go free camera. Press the Y key, you see it toggles between driver and camera mode. So camera mode means that the sticks will then control what's going on here. And as you move up to it, you can then press the A or the X button to... Uh, to go for it. Cheers Duffies! Oh, I didn't acknowledge that signal, did I? <laughs> We're off to a cracking start. It says very similar to the last time I ran this. Or I failed all the signals. I'll wait for the brake pipe to charge now. Just getting moving, not paying any attention. The fact that we've just rolled over a green yellow. Break on while we uh, while we let the air reset on the uh, watch the brake the the main reservoir because while the main reservoir is moving the brakes and the wagons are still charging. Moving slowly but surely, but still moving. Yeah, if you press 9 you can see your train and you can see any other trains that are moving around so there's a train just left a minute ago Where is that gone?
there's some wagons up there look uh, and if there's manual junctions and things then yeah you can just click on them to change them Don't work like that in PS4. They should do. There are manual junctions. There are automatic junctions. Sorry, like these ones that you can't change. Those are automatics. But manual ones, you definitely can. So you've got to go and find the manual ones. And that's exactly the same as TS1. You can only change manual junctions. Automatics you can't change. Triple check that, Dave. In fact, I'll fire up my PlayStation later and I'll have a look on there. It's the same core game. We don't make a special game for PlayStation, so it should behave exactly like this. I'll double check it, if you can double check it. I'm getting some speed slowly. 70% power. Hey, Beastly Cat, how are you doing? Oh, we're at 26997, almost made it to 261. Hey Eds, you're back to silently judging my driving. Don't lie, there'll be nothing silent about it. <laughs> oh Dave, sorry, you're pressing escape. Right, on the PlayStation, just press the middle, the, the big, um, the touchpad. And that will give you the... Um, map in real time. Oh, poop. Not paying attention. Um, yeah, this is the difference. Like, if I press 9, it's all moving. If I press escape and go to map, nothing's moving. It's all stationary because the game is paused. And similarly, now if I come down to the docks here uh, and I click on a junction, nothing will happen. Again, the game is paused. Hey, we solved Dave's problem, so I'm not feeling so bad about my emergency brake. That's what I'm telling myself, anyway. It's making me feel not makes making me feel not quite so bad. It's all your fault, Eds. To be honest, we're changing the the uh, the meme to blame Eds. You know, the other thing you can do, Dave, is if you go to the external camera 
and fly around. You can change junctions. So if you need to go back at the train or something or over here, you can just fly around and change junctions using this. This works as well. You don't have to get out and walk around. Have we gone a mile yet? No. Okay, brakes are off. Put some power on and wait for the brakes to come off on the wagons. But yes, the button you're looking for is the uh, the enormous great touchpad thing. Press that and um, the game will still be running. Bear in mind, the game will still be running, so you'll still be driving. You need to think about that. Fortunately, there's a dependency set up on the banker, which means it doesn't matter when I get there; it'll still um, it'll still wait for me. Otherwise, it, without the dependency, it would sit there and just go and assume I'm sta I'm sitting there at the right time. A dependency means it will always wait for me to pass the trigger point. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Drama Queen. Hey, the brakes are off. BCK, you're starting to get the hang of operating the 45. Yeah, I don't think you'd have any trouble with it. The most challenging bit to get used to is just the fact that the trains in TSW have got control lag in a lot of cases, like the real thing. So when you apply power or when you take power off, there is a, there is a lag from uh, from it happening. Traction interlocks are another thing to get used to, where if you apply the brakes while the throttle's on, it'll generally cut the throttle and you'll need to reset the throttle to reapply. All sorts of little nuances that mean that you can't throw the train about quite as much. That's good, Snowbriar. Haven't seen you in a while, though, Briar. My just my fault. I haven't been streaming, but uh, yeah, good to see you again. Hey, Bam Bam, how are you doing? Zifa. Zifa. You're back and also now driving train Citrus. Fantastic. Let's get some miles on. We need. We've got a ways to catch up to where we're supposed to be. Let's acknowledge this before we get stopped again. 262,000! You got your final pass out drive on Monday. Well, good luck for that, uh, Briar.
you'd be on your own then yeah that's that's that big thing it's like the first time you know when you think back to when you first got to drive your car on your own that first drive was always a little bit oh there's no what there's no one else here now whatever happens is on me But you know what? They wouldn't let you in the cab on your own if you couldn't do it. So. Looking forward to it, but nervous. That's probably the right place to be, to be honest. Excited, but respectful of the challenge. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm holding up all the trains now, look. <laughs> Dispatchers regretting giving me the route. Talk about uh, B. Harrison, what's the community W community challenge? If you go to live.dovetailgames.com and go into the TSW section, Ben, essentially, um, all the miles that people are driving in the game are being um, logged uh, as a number and essentially it's all being put um, uh, it's being put um, into a tally and the objective is to get to 4 million before October the, uh, April the 26th so it's about a month can this dispatcher put a route back? I don't know if that's a possibility I don't think so Sorry there. <laughs> Whoopsie, my bad. Don't please, don't hate me. Bambo, how long you know Omsi? I've been I've played Omsi for quite a long time. It was one of the viewers actually, it was Cameron's Gaming, that sort of explained to me how to actually get an understanding of how to play Omsi because I. Initially, I'd just not had any luck with it. Once he explained it, then I actually had some good fun with it. I just find its user interface so absolutely paralyzingly awful. All right, let's give it some beans and get some speed up. Or at least up to 90 kilometers an hour, anyway. I mean, to be honest, for me specifically, they should only ever reserve one, one block of track ahead of time. <laughs> Right, you've done that one. Right, you can have the next one then. <laughs> See, that's traction interlock, so I've got to cut power. Reapply. Uh, why do the Doppelstocks have engine on the back or front? Uh, well, the, the locomotive provides the power. The, the the cab car has no ability to. Um, it's a it's a it's like a DVT in the UK essentially, uh, or a DBSO. It has no motors on it at all, um, which means it's reliant on something to provide the tractive force. Um, so it means that you've got a local at one end and some coaches. But it means if you want to go the other end, you can get in the effectively one of the coaches and drive from there. It's exactly the same as the DVT and the DBSO over here. See that. Well, I'd notice they have, um, then over in Germany now, they've got these things called twin decks. Which essentially look like a um, a double-ended dosto, so it doesn't look like a loco. It looks like a multiple unit now, and they put traction motors on them as well, which is an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, the commuter trains have them as well. Yeah, 
Comet stock and uh, Amfleets have them. Struggling up a one in one six six. What's a one in fifty going to be? How come Raventhorpe on NTP is so run down? I've no idea. Presumably, when they took when they were looking at historical photos, it looked run down. There's no more power to give prior. <laughs> the tap's wide open. Is that a freight coming the other direction? Yep. It's one of the fast freights. Oh, it's actually one of the light freights. A 143 can do that one as well. No, they're pretty lightweight compared to a uh, a nice uh, juicy diesel electric, aren't they, Phil? Phil? I can't wait to do something like a Ludmilla. I think that'd be epic in TSW. Coming up on 85 kilometres now, let's back off and level out. to uh, on the wagons. What does CFAS mean? I can't remember. It's like a vigilance system. It's like the um, DSD or DVD on um, UK trains or the alerter on American trains. They all functionally do very similar things. I'd like to at some point, Briar, but uh, I don't want to make any promises. The list of things that people want and, and we want is enormous, so getting through that list slowly but surely. Is multiplayer still on this? Absolutely. <laughs>
Irish troops with TS1, not on Steam. I can't remember. I think someone might have done one in the community, though. Stop up at the signal. <coughs> then the banker will do its thing. I saw it running on a 1X actually um, at Alexandra Palace for the first time, believe it or not, Briar, because we have all of our 1Xs in the office switched back into X, uh, 1S mode. I couldn't believe how much faster it ran. It, was, it runs sweet on a 1X. See you later, Dave. Yes, that's what a vigilance system is for, Beastia. Hence vigilance. It's there to make sure that uh, the driver is still vigilantly, not just vigilant, but also able to, physically able to. So if they're sick, for example, and they fall unconscious, or they're not able to pay attention, the vigilance alarm will, will trip and stop the train. Haul up to this marker. Please stop. Thank you. Oh, hello. We're being passed. That train never ends. What's happening down here? Is he gone already? Yep, he's gone already. Are those car trains drivable? Yes, they are. Everything in service mode is drivable, Ben. If you were to say, well, right now it's 16.04, probably about half an hour previously, and find a uh, a service which is around sort of 3.30ish, probably is that service. You can drive the banker service as well if you want to. The different 185s have different features. At the moment, the Raylion one can do the banking, the normal one can't, but that's just because it hasn't been ported back yet. 
Oh, hello. Someone backfiring. Right, we're coupled. Banking com is on. We got the light, yeah, we do. Put a bit of power on. I'm going to turn C for off for this bit. That's working fine now. I'm on brakes. back and check that the train in the rear is connected correctly. Yep. We rolling. It's a heavy train as well. I think it's a good 2,000 tonnes. One of the heads will correct me if I'm wrong, but it's in that order anyway. It's a bit heavy going up this bank though, Briar. <laughs> if a full forty-two hundred and a fifty-nine the other week, I know, but that's the fit. That's a uh, a, a Coco diesel, triple axle, heavy diesel. This is a lightweight electric. <laughs> And we're about to go up a steep ramp. Normally, it's only the ramp you need the bank for. Wow, well, someone's got a seriously misfiring car out there. Or there's actually a gunfight going on. One of the two is chilling up. What can I say? <clears throat> Should be 25, I think, Derek. That's it, we're on the ramp now, 1 in 48. <coughs> so far we're buoyant and power. Still buoyant. Accelerating slowly.
Well, 59 is an SD40-2, isn't it? Basically. I think the 66 is closer to an SD70 or something like that, someone said. <coughs> but 59 is almost exactly an SD40-2. Just squashed into a smaller body. <laughs> Green with green, green, that makes life easier. Maximum power, and we're just about power, power buoyant. Refresh, yes. Where are we up to now? Two hundred sixty-four thousand. as we come up here which meant we had to go down to 55 how much have we gone up by since the stream started uh, 35,000 or thereabouts got power and let gravity slow us down a bit Nice one, Briar. 70 with expect reduced speed. Another passenger running this way. Or was that a freight? No, no it is freight. Are there non-stop services for NTP? The part of the TPO one will be, I think. Is it we're off the bank now? Work splits behaved itself. We've been streaming four hours forty three minutes. The next split seems to have been uh, you're certainly guys you certainly aren't telling me anything's wrong, which is good.
I expect stop. You actually drove the Great Western to Reading, your mentor driver was surprised how much you knew. <laughs> That's cool. Um, did you get any of it wrong though because of the game? That would be slightly worse. Had your mentor driver heard of the game before? Nice! The tricky bits you aced as they were accurate in the game. That's fantastic! Nobody has bought it! Excellent! <laughs> console as well, do you know? He's PC. Yeah, we met up with a signaller from the line uh, when we were at Old Oak Common Open Day. Um, and um, he was providing feedback at the time while someone was driving it and saying, wow, you've got everything right with these signals. <laughs> Which is good to know. Right, time to stop. Oh, the click and clack sound of the Mark 1s and Mark 2s on um, on the uh, what's it as well. Notice you can do this as well. Um, oh, Dave isn't here anymore, but you can fly out the camera. You don't have to. Uh... That's that service done. Right, stop at Kemondon siding. Should we go and watch the other one go away? Let's find out what happens to it. It's got the line to go straight down. Yes, I know, Briar. I know. It, it, it makes me die a little inside every time someone tells me. <laughs> I know what the problem is. accurate though <laughs> yeah the problem is, the, the, the reality of it Briar is that it's it's basically if you look at the map what it's doing is it's finding the shortest path and crossing you over and then crossing it back and you'll find fast freight uh, freight trains getting put on the high speed line and then brought back just because it's one meter shorter of a route or something it's because when I did the Great Western timetable I couldn't easily see what the pathing was 
not across 800 services whereas I can see it much easier now I can there's a quick query I can run which tells tell me everything that goes on this line and I can see all the ones that shouldn't be there right we're rolling 25 kilometers an hour limit that other loco will go probably I don't know whether that's the first in the sequence or not let's have a look there's a passenger train waiting We've got one sitting there trying to go that way, or we've got a backlog here. Look. Passenger train coming up the works. There you go, that's the next bank freight. So that one will be, the banker will be waiting for that one to arrive. Because the way I packaged them up, remember from that spreadsheet, it was groups of green. And so we're on the um, 83145 so yeah there'll be two more trains for that one to do because I wanted to make it so that in a banked run you could be the banker and then do four or five trains without having to wait excessively long and then after in this in this instance it's a cluster of five trains and then after the fifth train you've potentially got a two or three hour wait before the next cluster of four trains that you then run up the hill Right, we're off to Gimondon, 24 kilometres. We're out of uh, 500 hertz now. Limit to 40. Hey Mickey! No, I wasn't planning on streaming and then um, I'm not here. I wasn't... Um, I didn't go out like I was expecting, so... I thought, why not stream a bit? I also testing XSplit out to see, uh, see whether that's going to be a... Uh, a viable solution going forward without all the stuttering that OBS has been giving me which it seems to be why hasn't your shub sewn up Mickey? Uh, that would have been... I can reset it for you, there you go thank you Mickey So as we get ready to go down the hill, we're already on the down slope, we'll need to uh, monitor and make sure we don't exceed 90 kilometers an hour. Yeah I know big dog, it's because I can't do dynamic pathing, so it's got to follow the same path every time. Yes, thank you for the sub, Mickey. 70 kilometers an hour. Now that we're going decent speed, the trick now is to not go too fast. Goods braking on a heavy train means that we're limited to 90 kilometers an hour anyway. Well, oh, thank you very much for that gift, Ferramero, uh, Mickey. Much appreciated. on some e-brakes to balance out the speed there we go wow okay it's just about holding us I need to drip a bit of air in there in a minute oh no that's all right <laughs> maximum e-brake and I'm just about holding it on the hill <laughs> <clears throat> How easy is it to add a new livery to the 66 and TSW? When the editor tool comes out, it's not too bad actually. The actual process of adding the livery is not difficult. It's um, the livery itself, obviously, is the difficult bit. The art. off the e-brakes a bit now we've got air running on the train 
Had a good chat with the relevant people at a dinner the other night. Oh, excellent. Excellent! Uh, Beastlier, what exactly is this editor thing? Uh, it's the tools to make your own content for this, so scenarios, routes, trains, all that stuff. So it's not out yet, but it's coming at some point. I did a, tech, a dev stream on it on the Dovetail Games channel before Christmas, if you want to go and have a look. It'll be on the YouTube channel as well. Sounds like it's dinner time. Right, lose the air brake. This is the thing, the air brake is uh, so you can make your own length of sync. Do anything you like, basically. Go anywhere you like, put any train anywhere you like. If you want to run a uh, Class 33 on a German route hauling coaches, then fine, have at it. I mean, there are limitations to what it can couple to, but like the same, you know. You know, British train I don't think will couple to an American one, for example, but will it be released this year? Um, should be, but we'll have, you'll have to get details like that for our official channels. I have to be careful when I answer a question like that, because if I don't speak very positively, it'll buzz around the forums that, oh my god, that means it's def definitely not coming this year. But I also don't want to promise something. It's not my not my place to promise things. Eighteen kilometers to go. Not long now. At least we got to ride this train down the hill this time. <laughs> Don't even suggest it, Mickey. Don't even suggest it. Very much, it's like free roam in TS1. No, it's like the, the editor in TS1. There isn't currently something like free roam in TS1, but it's it's like the editor in TS1. As in, you can make, create your own formations, create your own scenario, and then run that scenario essentially. Mickey, you got your new processor. You can run Train Simulator on Ultra. Sweet. What do you think of the GBRF Class 50 repaints? Hey, you know what? If it keeps the 50s on the rails. I'm not going to be snobby about it. I would rather have a 50 on the rails in a GBRF livery than not have a 50 on the rail. So, um, if that's what it takes to get support, I'm all for it. I'm assuming it was done in order to help support the 50s. And if they're going to be used on sort of um, supporting normal activities, it means we might see them a bit more as well. <laughs> Can you stop having that on and get it on sale, please? <laughs> Oh, I thought in the, the news article I'd seen that they were going to be um, supporting other trains as required as well. Oh, we're back on a 1 in 1 3 3 again and we're speeding up. Only a handful of drivers still have tickets on them, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Chris, is there another charity stream in the pipeline? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do one this um, in this this window like I normally do. Um, given that I haven't done much streaming, I kind of don't feel like I should, to be honest. Uh, I also need to make sure I measure my commitments because I've got a lot going on at the moment. Um, so I might put all my energy into trying to make November a decent stream. But that's not final decision yet. I still need to uh, make a call on that. What are we up to? Refresh. See a lot more class 60s. Yes, they're bringing them back in because um, it's something to do with the um, the legislations now. I mean that certain trains, they can't buy new ones off because they don't meet reg legislation. But they can restore a whole load of old ones back in because it doesn't apply to them or something. <sighs> oh, thank you very much, Ferramero. Much appreciated. If you had to pick one SD70 that's out there, which one would you choose? Is the KT one in this? Is that an SD70? I can't remember what the KT. You know, what is covered is it, what trains got the KT livery. I love the KT livery. Or the Dr. Pepper livery, as I call it. <laughs> but I can't remember if that's an ES44. That's an Ace, is it? So that's probably the one I'd go for then. 14 kilometres. I don't think it's about not liking the new locos and their features, Peach Dick. I think it's about the cost of buying those new locos is more cost. They cost a lot more, and therefore it costs less to renovate the old ones, or something like that. I thought 60s had a bit of a bad rep when they were running round, so I don't know whether that was um, just rumor mill or whether or not they're going to try and fix that with the renovation. I need your lunch money. Nice one, fair America. Oh, okay. If you improve emissions on old locos, so basically what they're saying is, if you look after you, if you can improve your old stuff, we we won't be quite so strict on the new stuff you buy, essentially. How do you mean, Derek? Stand SD60s. Eleven clicks, nearly there. Two hundred and sixty-seven thousand miles. So it's just about forty thousand since we started streaming. I 
guess we're probably going to be around law shortly. If we haven't already gone through law. Have we gone through law? Right, heading west. There's law right in front of us. That's the diesel branch line coming off on the right there. So put a lot of locomotives in storage, SD60s, SD60i's, SDM2's and C40-9's. Oh, that's another short freight. What's the longest European route in TSW? Probably rapid transit. We're on the flat now, so let's put some power on and get back up to 90. Full power. <coughs> What's the shortest route in TSW? Don't actually know. don't actually know. Oh, West Somerset, of course, yes. <laughs> West Somerset, 20, 21 miles, isn't it? It's frustrating to be in a 150 km hour speed limit and we can only do 90.
The shortest in time is probably GWE. <laughs> they just keep barreling from one end to the other. There's the junction. We turn off the uh, high speed line. Which route is my least favourite? I don't know. They've all got their unique appeal. I guess I'm not a big fan of rapid transit. But the 182 does make it a lot better. So once that's out, that might change. West Somerset I find a bit of a struggle just because it's slow, but I do even then, even then I do play it every now and again just because it's it's nice and relaxing. Uh, Norfolk and Western 611 be visiting Strasbourg in September and October. Oh, nice. NEC freight, uh, NEC, I only really enjoy the freight aspect of it, but I enjoy that hugely. I don't really enjoy the passenger side of it much. Um, but I really like the freight side of it. But again, I, I conversely, I really enjoy driving the HGS 64. <laughs> so uh, every now and again, I go for a blast in the HGS 64. Why don't I like rapid transit? It's not so much that I don't like it; it's just it's not my favourite route. Um, it's it's quite straight. Um, so, I don't know, because I really like the Leipzig tunnels. That's probably one of my favourite parts in all the routes. Right, just rounding the last couple of corners to Gemondon now. Transpennine is your favourite route, Chris. Yeah, Transpennine is one of my favourite routes. MSB is probably one of my other favourite routes. I probably put MSB and Transpennine as probably my top two at the moment. Leah probably comes in next. But these aren't really like third favourite, it's more. They're all really near the top. I enjoy all of them, to be honest. And as more trains come out, they'll all, all of those routes will grow as well, which is nice. Tons to look forward to. I guess this is Langham Brozelton, is it? Hey, thank you Raiders from the Slim Gaming Channel. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Slow down now. Siva, Siva. 
more of a casual walk in than a ride. <laughs> Evening, Elswin. Hey, Stim Gaming Channel, thank you for the raid. Three eight sevens on GWE would need a route upgrade, Briar, to get the electrification sorted. Put a 101 on every route. There you go, Mickey. Once the editor comes out, I can see the screenshots I'm going to get from you. <laughs> oh, yeah, got to put miles in, Slim Gaming. Got to put miles in. Expect reduced speed. Another train coming in the other direction. Drive quicker. <laughs> You're heading to London June 26th. What year is that, Nick Lorca? This year? Many people asking if the AC4500 NEC. That's not impossible, actually. I've got stuff in substitutions in the substitution side of it now, which might make that a reality at some point, potentially. No promises. Shh, I never said a word. Yeah, EGX is coming week. No, I'm not going to any of the shows at the moment, some gaming. Right, rolling into Gamondon. Does Southern run down the Chatham main line? No, it's southeastern. Knowledge. Anything's possible, Citrus, they just take time to make. Brake pipe to come up. Yeah, of course, Nicola Curse, that sounds good. <clears throat> Keep in touch. There it goes the brake cylinders on the low coat. <clears throat> Sidings like just round that corner. How annoying is this? Right, we have power applied, we've just got to wait for it to finish uh, releasing the brakes now on the wagons. Oh, the shame as the driver sees me stopped like this. Oh, my, the shame. <clears throat> B 
did he just wave, do a cheeky wave at me out the window? Wow, he's on, he's on the list. Shame. <laughs> oh, the shame. Come on, brakes. Accelerometer is wibbling. We might get moving soon. <clears throat> Thank you for the cheers, Citrus. There we go. She's wobbling away. limit with an expect stop. See you later, Mero. I'm probably this will be on my um, as soon as I parked up here that'll be it, so you may not be here when you get back. Cheers for Romero. The mileage has passed 27,000 now, has it? Oh, it's warming up. <clears throat> or 270,000, sorry, not 27,000. Oh, two hundred seventy thousand five seven one. Zakan's mishap. It was a um, the the approach the the home signal over there was a uh, was an expect stop, and I didn't acknowledge it because I was busy looking at something else. Only takes a moment's loss of concentration, and that's it. Thank heavens for safety systems. Otherwise, a moment's loss of concentration costs lives. <clears throat> I like this though. It feels like a proper heavy train. No. Safety systems are annoying, but they work. You know what? If they save lives, then... Uh I'll park up now. This is a Zakens, uh, Eds. I managed to actually stay on the train this time and drive it the rest of the way.
Brakes on. <clears throat> there she is. The stop marker is here. I stopped on the stop marker. It's Thank you for the cheers, Derek. She blows. <laughs> <laughs> 